are y'all ready to build this thing or what? Eh, uh, never mind. I'll let my husband do it. <laughs> my first kayak cart video is one of my highest viewed videos. Even though the production was sloppy, there was a lot of mistakes done, but now I've taken a lot of those questions that y'all have asked in the comments and a lot of the tips, and now I'll be using those to build Kayak Cart 2.0. So I plan on making this one a little beefier than I did the first one because not only is this going to be a kayak cart that you can walk with, but I'm also going to tie it up to my golf cart at times as well. Even if you don't plan on using it with a golf cart, beefing it up previous to the first video I made will still help stabilize it. And PVC is actually really cheap, so if you use a little bit more, it's not going to hit you in the budget. Anyway, let's get into it. First you'll need a saw of some sort to cut the PVC. I'll be using my miter saw but a hand saw works too. Second, you'll need PVC cement to glue it all together. Third, a wrench of some sort to tighten the nuts on the axle. A fourth, a measuring tape. And lastly, just some paint if desired. As for materials, I'm using a 3 quarter inch of PVC which I need 10 feet of. All the PVC I'm referencing here will be 3 quarter inch. So I have seven end pieces, seven T pieces. Then I have an axle rod here that is five eighth inches. So all of these will be five eighth inch as well, which we have four flat washers. We have two lock washers. You can see split lock washers, two regular hex nuts, just two regular hex nuts, and then two lock nuts, which have like this little silicone, some kind of like little rubber in there and then lastly you'll need your two 10 inch tires here i decided to go with the inflatable ones because they're better when you walk over rocks and things like that compared to a, a plastic tire from for your lawnmower or something you just really need to make sure that they can handle a 5 8 inch rod And now I'm going to connect all of these into specific sections. And the reason why I'm going to connect them in specific sections, well, you'll see. The first set is the top braces. They will look like a giant T. We will connect the eight inch pieces to the ends of a T and then repeat. I'm going to use primer and PVC cement so this part will be permanent. So I'm not a plumber so don't critique my effort here. <laughs> I'm not trying to necessarily make these watertight. However, the rule for applying this is prime the fittings first, then the pipe, and then hit the fittings with another coat. Then apply the cement to the pipe, then the fitting, and then hit the pipe with another coat. Instructions are on the cans, it's really not that complicated. Then we have the midsection here which just looks like a giant H. Just connect a 11 and a half inch piece to the middle of a couple of brand new T's and I'll again glue these. To make the PVC axle casing, we are going to attach a 4 inch piece to a T, then attach a 5 inch piece on the other end of that T. Put on another T that will end up facing out to the front. This is for the kickstand so it'll need to face forward. Then continue with another 5 inch piece, another T, and then the other 4 inch piece. These should all be glued together. Alright, so here you have your 4 inch piece, a T, a 5 inch piece, a T, a 5 inch, a T, and a 4 inch. Uh, 
Lastly, we will have to drill out 5 8 inch holes in two caps and glue these on the ends of the 4 inch pieces. This will house our threaded rod. I'm putting all of my parts on the axle temporarily to see how much I need to cut off. Here's a pro tip I learned in the comments of my last video. I'm going to put a nut towards the end of my rod and you'll see why. Okay, now watch as I try to put on a new nut onto the rod. It doesn't go. But if I screw off the nut I have here, it will straighten up the threads and will make this rod like brand new. Now the reason I have it in different pieces here, bunched up like this without them glued in yet, is because you can keep it like this so you can compact it and put it into your kayak if you need to take this with you to go. You just need this along with your wheels and everything. Me personally, I'm going to glue all of mine together because I'm going to leave mine on shore when I'm in the kayak. I'm not going to bring it with me. I know there's different prefer preferences for different people. And so that was a question I got a lot of on my first video is, what do you do with the cart when you're on the kayak? Well, for me, I just leave it on the shore. I'm not going down a river, me personally. I go down lakes and ponds and mainly it's my wife anyways, but uh, we don't need it to be portable and carry it on the kayak with us. So I'm gonna glue all of my pieces together. The last thing you'll need to glue together, and you'll do this even if you do wanna make yours detachable, you need to glue all these little three inch pieces. and then glue on the 18 inch kickstand.
For this kayak, I'm gonna use a bungee system where I just loop a bungee cord from the kayak handle and wrap it around the axle of the cart. There's a million different ways you can strap your cart to your kayak. I didn't do it in the first version and it still worked out, but you can see now it's so much more snug. 